Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. I'm so grateful that it's not raining and it's not a holiday and we are here together. Um, welcome to Seaport Sweat. I'm Danny. I'm going to be taking you through your yoga sculpt class tonight. If you haven't flowed with me before, welcome. Um, everything is acceptable here. So if you just want to chill out and do your own thing, something doesn't feel good for you, you are more than welcome to do that. Um, but I'd like to get out of our comfort zones today and maybe learn something new about yourself. Um, so we're going to start on our backs. So you can go ahead and lay down. If you don't want to be on your back, you can just find a comfortable seated position or you can be standing, it's up to you. You're just gonna take the next couple of moments here for yourself. I just want you to slow your breath down. Start to breathe in through your nose, filling up your stomach with every inhale and completely letting your breath go with their exhale. Taking the deepest breaths you've taken yet today and maybe this is the first opportunity that you've had today to check in with yourself. So take advantage of that. Check in with yourself mentally, emotionally, physically. Maybe notice any areas you're holding tension. Try to let go of it here. Just acknowledging this without judgment. Start to set an intention for the rest of your 45 minutes of your Monday evening. I invite you to take my intention today of just having no expectations, of just flowing, doing what feels good, trying something new. A lot of times we set limits on ourselves and this can be way beyond our physical practice. We might set limits mentally that kind of confine us into this box that we're capable of so much more. So allow yourself to explore that today. On your next inhale, take the deepest breath you've taken in yet today, filling up your lungs, filling up your belly all the way through the crown of your head. And on your exhale, sigh it out, <sighs> let it go. One more deep breath, just like that. Inhale, fill up everything all the way through the toes, crown of the head, and sigh it out with your exhale, <sighs> let it go. If your legs aren't already long, I invite you to bring them along down the mat. Start to reach your arms overhead, reaching through the fingers and toes, taking a full body stretch. And as you exhale, one knee at a time, drive them into your chest, start to grab onto the knees and just start to trace some circles on the sky. Going one direction and then go the other way. And from there, we're gonna stack the knees right over the hips, bring your arms out to a goal post. And as you exhale, just drop both knees over to the right. Keep your left shoulder down here. Look over the left shoulder. Good. With the exhale, twist a little deeper with your inhale. Find space. And on your next breath in, you're going to start to take your knees back over the hips. And as you exhale, drop the knees over to the left. Keep the right shoulder down this time, looking over the right side. With that inhale, we find space. With the exhale, we twist deeper. As you inhale, bring the legs back through center. From here, you're gonna pause. You're gonna take the tops of your hands and bring them right to your quads. From there, you're gonna push into your quads and push your quads back into your hands, grounding your back down onto the mat and starting to activate that core. Try to push a little harder here, really flexing through the feet. You should start to feel their abs engage. We're here for three two and on one you're just gonna grab the left knee bring it into the chest and extend your right leg nice and long down the back start to roll out your ankle here going one direction and then you'll change directions and from there you're gonna take your left hand bring your elbow inside your left knee and grab on the outer edge of your left foot keep the right hip down here just pull the left knee out and up toward the left arm oh okay Drive that left knee out and up towards that left armpit, stretching deeper into the left hip. We're healing for three, two, and on one, you're gonna bend into your right knee, plant your right foot and cross your left ankle on the right knee. Your hands are gonna go alongside your body, palms facing down. As you inhale, use the core to lift your legs up, bringing both knees in towards the chest with this figure four bind. So you're lifting the right foot off the ground, the knees come to the chest. As you exhale, you're gonna tap the right heel to the ground. Two more times, inhale, drive it up, use the floor. Exhale, take it down. 
On this last one, we're gonna hold it at the top. Bring your hands behind your head. From here, tuck your chin to your chest, and we're gonna lift up for crunches. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax the upper body, drop the right heel, keep the bind of the legs, and drop your knees over to the right. So you're pressing the left ankle against the right knee here, trying to get your left knee outward, stretching deeper into that left outer hip, maybe into that lumbar spine. Try to keep both shoulders grounded. One more breath here. And inhale, come back through center. You're gonna release both legs long down the mat. One more full body stretch, inhale. And as you exhale, both knees come in. We're gonna go back to this ab activation here. So we're grounding the back down into the mat. Your hands come to the top of your quads. You're gonna start to push the hands into the legs, the legs into the hands. We're here for five, for four, three, two, one. Grab the right knee in towards the chest, extend the left leg. Roll out the right ankle here, go one direction, and then we'll switch sides. From there, the right hand is gonna grab the outer edge of the right foot, elbow inside the knee, draw the right knee out and up towards the right armpit as you ground the left leg down. Nice, try to flex through the left foot here, really try to extend through the left leg, feeling the cross-sectional stretch. One more breath here. And as you exhale, bend into the left knee, plant the left foot, and bring that right ankle onto that left knee. Hands go alongside your body, ground down. Start to activate the core as you inhale, you're lifting both legs up towards the chest, figure four. And exhale, tap the left heel down. Beautiful, two more, inhale, lift up. And exhale, take it down. Nice, last one, lift it up and hold. Hands behind the head, chin to the chest. 10 more crunches, here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, last three, two, and one. Lower down, relax the left foot down and slowly drop both legs over to the left. Keep abducting that right knee out, pressing the right ankle into that left knee. Maybe you bring your left hand inside your right leg to get a little bit more of that hip opening. From here, we're slowly gonna bring both legs back through center. Plant the right foot by the left. Bring your hips an inch closer to those heels. Ground your belly button down to the spine and start to press your heels into the earth and lift your hips up for a bridge pose. With this bridge pose, I don't want you arching the back at all. You wanna tuck that belly button in. You should see the tops of your thighs here. Think about squeezing the inner thighs together. Really activate those glutes. Just five. Four, three, two, one, lower down, one vertebrae at a time, starting from the upper, middle, and then your lower back. The right foot's gonna come a little bit more towards center. You're gonna extend the left leg and your knees are gonna line up. From there, we're pressing through the right heel lift up for a single leg glute bridge. Firing up your glutes here. That's it. From there, we're gonna keep the hips lifted. You're gonna drive the left knee in towards the chest. And then exhale, extend the left leg long. Two more times, inhale, drive the left knee in a little further. Exhale, extend. Last one, drive the left knee in. Exhale, extend. Lower the hips down, keep the left leg up to the sky and then pull it in towards your chest, stretching out the back of your left leg. From here, just point and flex through that left foot. You wanna feel the hamstring lengthen as you flex the foot and then shorten as you point your foot towards the sky. A couple more breaths here. And as you exhale, we're gonna bend the left knee, replace the left foot with the right, or vice versa. And then you're gonna ground through that left heel, start to lift up for that single leg glute bridge on the left side. First, we're just gonna hold it, activate, make sure both hips are nice and level here. And on your next breath in, start to drive the right knee in towards the chest, compress, and then exhale, extend. Two more, inhale, bend. Exhale, extend, and here's the last one. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend, slowly lower down. Keep the right leg up to the sky. Grab onto the back of your leg. It can be the quad, maybe the hamstring, the calf, the ankle. 
draw the leg in a little closer, start to point and flex through the right foot. Nice. One more breath here. And then bring the left leg up to meet the right, both legs extended. Grab the back of your hamstrings here, start to rock and roll the length of your mat. Just a couple times, going all the way through that spine. And then we're gonna meet in a seated position. Crisscross applesauce. That's it. Inhale, arms up, palms face each other. Exhale, both hands are gonna come beside you. Let's roll the shoulders back. Fingertips are just grazing the mat here. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. From here, walk your left fingertips out a couple inches. And then give me a thumbs up and punch the hand out a little further. Feel the stretch down your neck. And exhale, nice and slow. Roll your chin through center. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Walk the right fingertips out now a couple inches. Give me that thumbs up here on the right side. Push the hand out a little further. And exhale as you come through center. Chin's gonna stay to the chest. You're just gonna walk your hands forward and come into a forward fold. Doesn't need to be anything crazy here. If, even if your hands are right by your legs, that's completely fine. One more breath. And then exhale, slowly come up through center. We're gonna switch out the legs. So if the right was in front, you're gonna take the left in front now. Cool. And then inhale, arms are gonna come overhead. Exhale, keep both glutes down. The right hand comes by your right hip. Bend into your elbow as you reach the left arm up and over. Stay proud in that chest here. Try to look over the left elbow. Good. One more breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna sweep forward. Lead with the left hand. Plant the left hand by the left hip. Bend into the elbow. Reach that right arm over now. Stay proud in that chest. Good, so try to stay open here, looking over that left, right elbow. And coming forward, you're gonna stop when you get to center. Walk the hands forward one more time for this forward fold. And inhale, come back through center. Good, one more time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, sweep your hands behind you. You're gonna interlace your fingers, then punch your knuckles down to the ground, straighten through your elbows. Your knuckles can come all the way down to the ground. Open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then little challenge for you here, see how far you can forward fold with this bind. I can't go very far, so that's all good. Inhale, lift back up. From here, you can either tumble forward or sweep your legs to the side. We're gonna come into a tabletop position. So your wrists are right below your shoulders, your knees are right below your hips. As you inhale, we're gonna roll your shoulders back, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your head. As you exhale, we're gonna press into the ground. Separate your shoulder blades, tuck your chin to your chest. Two more times, inhale, roll the shoulders back, drop the belly, lift the head. Exhale, really curve into your spine here. Belly button up to the spine, chin to chest. One more time, inhale, roll it down, drop the belly, lift the head. And exhale, press the ground away. You're gonna hold it here. Good, from here, keep the spine the way it is. Tuck the toes under, lift your knees an inch off the mat. We're gonna hold here, hover bear pose for five, for four, three, two, one. Lower the knees back down. From here, just extend the right leg back. We're just gonna rock back and forth on, the, on your toes here, warming up the ankle. And then when you feel ready, find stillness. You're just gonna lift the right leg up, engage your glute, and then finding a spinal balance by taking the left arm forward. Good, find this balance for three, two, adding movement in one. Start to keep the right foot flexed, draw the knee in towards the chest, the left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch it in, create space. Nice, one more time, inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, extend back out. This time, bend into the right knee, keep your left leg extend, uh, left arm, and then take a big arm circle back, grab onto the inner edge of that right foot, if you can, and then see if you can kick the right foot into the left hand and really open up through the chest. Here for three, two, and one. Extend back out to spinal balance. Left hand comes down, the right leg stays back. We're gonna bend the right knee again, Externally rotate the right knee so it's coming out, and then draw the right knee up towards the armpit. Nice, we're gonna kick it straight back. One more time, bend the knee, externally rotate, draw it up toward the shoulder and hold for three, 
two, don't go too far. On one, step the right foot outside the right hand. Nice, from here, inhale, arms up. Exhale, you're gonna come forward towards this right knee. Hands can come right onto your knee. Exhale, shift it back, keep the right foot outward, and then flex it back for that hamstring stretch. Beautiful, inhale, come forward, hands can come to the knee. Try to keep the heel down. Good, you want a nice big angle in this, in this front leg. Exhale, sit it back, hamstring stretch last time. Nice. Inhale, bend into the knee, plant the hands inside the foot. The left hand's gonna stay down. As you inhale, bring the right arm up. Exhale, the right hand's gonna come behind your head. Nice, from here, inhale. Twist down, see if you can tap the right elbow to the ground. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, take it down, tap. Beautiful, inhale, up. Last one, take it down and tap. Hold for three, two, and plant the right hand down. Lift up through center, take this right knee back underneath your hips, and then just take some hip circles here. Take some organic movement, whatever feels good for you. We're gonna take that on the other side. Finding stillness in three, two, and one. The left leg's gonna extend back, start to rock back and forth on the left foot here, warming up that ankle. And then from there, engage the left glute. We're gonna lift that left leg off the back. Bring the right arm forward here. Find that balance, we'll be here for five. Good, really press the ground away here, you got it. Three, two, keep the left foot flexed. Really create space as you draw your right elbow and your left knee towards midline. Inhale, extend. Exhale, take it through center. Nice, last one, inhale, extend. Exhale, take it through center. And we're gonna extend back out to the spinal balance. The left knee is gonna bend. We sweep the right arm around for the inner edge of that left foot. We start to kick that foot into the hand. Slight back bend here. We're opening through the chest, the shoulder, the quad, the hip flexor. Here for three, two. Gently release it back out. And the right hand's gonna come down. We're bending back into the left knee. Start to externally rotate this left knee and draw the knee up towards that armpit. Beautiful, take it straight back, kick the leg out. And one more time, bend into the knee, externally rotate, draw it up and hold for three, two, and one. Plant the left foot down, inhale, arms sweep up. And exhale, hands come to that left knee, we're coming forward, keep the heel down, stretching through this hip flexor, the inner thigh. As you exhale, we're gonna sit back onto that hip. We're flexing through this left foot, stretching through the left hamstring. Inhale, take it forward, hands to the knee. And exhale, take it back. Hamstring stretch one more time. Nice, inhale, we're bending into this left knee. Both hands are on the inside of that left foot. As you inhale, the right hand stays down, the left arm opens up. Taking that hand behind the head with your exhale. And as you inhale, we're gonna square the shoulders off, tap the left elbow in, and inhale, we lift. Exhale, take it down. One more time, inhale, lift it up. And on your exhale, we're gonna hold it at the bottom, really stretching through this left hip. If you can only get the elbow to about your calf, maybe midway through that shin, that's totally fine, whatever your own emotion is. One more breath here. And together, let's plant the left hand down, lift the chest up, tuck the right toes under, left foot come to meet the right. From here, we're coming on to your heels for a downward facing dog. You're pressing your chest back to your thighs here, lifting the hips to the sky. Let's start to bend into one leg and then the other, walk the dog, warm up those hamstrings. Try to release the tension in your neck here by shaking your head no. And then from there, find stillness, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Start to walk your toes up to your hands. Baby steps here, landing in a forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, ooey gooey, bend into those knees, one vertebrae at a time. You're gonna roll it up, let the hands hang. Last thing that come up is your head. Roll the shoulders back at the top. And then inhale, arms come up. Beautiful. 
Exhale, the right hand comes down by your side. Reach to the left fingertips and then dip over to that right side. Nice. Inhale, we lift through center. Exhale, left hand down, right arm reaches. Nice. Inhale through center. Keep your hips square, so don't let them move. Squeeze your booty. Bring the right hand back and the left arm forward. Try to just push through that torso. Nice. Inhale through center. Exhale, hips forward, switch sides. Left hand back, right arm forward. Nice. Inhale, we lift up. Exhale, press the imaginary walls away as you forward fold. Inhale, flat back, straight line of energy. Exhale, forward fold, plant your hands. Step your feet straight back to a high plank. We're gonna hold it here for five, for four, three, two, and on one, you're gonna drop your knees. We're gonna lower your hips. Your shoulders are gonna roll down your spine. Bring your shoulders away from your ears. Nice, from there, you're gonna melt down one vertebrae at a time. You're gonna tap your chin, and then press through your hands, roll the shoulders back, squeeze your glutes, lift back up. Nice, shoulders away from those ears. Yeah, start to lower it down, melt. And you got one more, inhale, lift up. This time, if you have upward facing dog in your practice, start to press through the tops of your feet, lift the quads off the mat. Yeah. From there, tuck the toes under, lift up, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, bend into one knee and then the other. Nice. Find some stillness, inhale, look forward. Start to bend into the knees, hop, step, or walk to the front of your mat. And forward fold. From here, the right knee's gonna stay straight, the left knee's gonna bend. You're gonna plant your left hand and lift the right arm up to the sky. As you exhale, tap the right hand down. Inhale, lift it back up. Some mobility work here. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. And one more, take it down. Inhale, lift and hold. If you wanna bring the right hand around to the left hip crease and try to open the shoulder a little bit more, that's an option for you. And as you exhale, take the right hand down. You're gonna switch sides. The left leg's gonna straighten, the right knee's gonna bend. As you inhale, you're gonna lift the left arm up. As you exhale, you're gonna tap your left hand. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Last one, inhale, lift. Again, if you wanna take that bind, bring the left hand behind you with the right hip crease, and then open up that left shoulder just a bit more. Beautiful, one more breath in. And exhale, release it down. Inhale, flat back, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we're gonna rise up, tall mountain, arms overhead. Exhale, sweep the hands behind you, interlace your fingers again, straighten through the arms, find that back bend, squeeze the glutes to protect the lower back. Keep the bind as you exhale here. Try to keep the bottoms of your hands together here as you bring the shoulders forward, wrist towards the base of the skull, towards DJ Sprino. And exhale, release the bind, plant the hands, step back, high plank. Beautiful. From there, we're gonna lower to the forearms for a low plank. Right back up, high plank, hey. Just one more time, lower down, low plank. Inhale, high plank. This time, chaturanga, shoulders over those wrists, bend into the elbows, lower the hips, roll the shoulders back away from the ears, inhale. Exhale, take it straight back, downward facing dog. From here, take a moment for yourself, take a deep breath in, take a couple deep breaths out. And we're gonna move in five, four, three, two. The right leg's gonna lift up for one. First, we're keeping the hips square. We're gonna kick the right foot back like you're putting your footprint on that imaginary back wall. From there, you're gonna point your foot, bend your knee, keep the heel nice and close to your hip, and then stack your right hip over your left. Try to keep the right shoulder down, nice and square. From there, draw some circles on the sky here, going one way, and then the other. And as you exhale, you're gonna square the hips off, come forward through your plank, drive your right knee to your chest. Yes, kick it straight back, three-legged dog. Two more times, that right knee to the nose, take it up. Exhale, straight back. This last one, right knee to nose. Here's a little challenge. You're gonna lower the knee to the ground and then press through the hands, lift the knee to the chest. Two more times, tap the knee, lift it up. Last time, tap the knee, lift it up and hold. Plant the right foot down, low runner's lunge. 
All right, so we're looking forward here. Hands are framing out that foot. Inhale, we're gonna lift up to a crescent lunge. Yes, that's it. Make sure those hips are level here. Try not to dip into the lower back too much. Good adjustment. From there, the right hand comes back, the left arm forward. We're looking over this right leg. Nice. Inhale, back through that crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus your arms, dip the back knee, open your heart up. And inhale, rise, two more. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Last one, exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Open up, warrior two. So you're just spinning on the ball, that back foot. Your right knee's out towards the pinky toe. Inhale, gentle warrior, straighten your front leg. Exhale, warrior two. Two more times here, inhale, gentle. Exhale, warrior two. Beautiful, last one, inhale, gentle. Exhale, warrior two. From here, cartwheel your hands forward. Spin on the ball, that back foot, you're back in your runner's lunge. And step the right foot back, you're in your high plank. And flow forward, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Sigh it out with that exhale. From there, the right foot's gonna step through center. You're gonna kick the left leg straight back, putting that footprint on the back wall here. Flexing through that right hamstring, feel the stretch. From there, point the left foot, bend into the knee. We're gonna stack that left hip on top of the right this time. The left shoulder stays square, and we're gonna start to take those hip circles here. Opening and closing that left hip one way and then the other. From there, find stillness, square the hips off. We're coming forward here through this high plank, drive the left knee towards the nose. Exhale, straight back, three-legged dog. Two more times, inhale, take it forward. Exhale, take it back. There's that last one, hold it forward. From there, we're dropping the knee down, then we're compressing the abs, we're lifting up to the chest. Two more times, tap and lift. Last one, tap and lift it up, hold. Step the left foot between the hands, runner's lunge. Woo. Good, deep breath in, deep breath out. One more breath in, one more breath out. Inhale, press through both feet, lift up, press and lunge. Again, flatten through that back, engage your core. Bend deeper into that left knee, make sure your hips are nice and level. Beautiful, the left hand's gonna come back, the right arm's gonna come forward, twisting over that leg, good. Imagine squeezing your inner thighs together here, find your balance. Beautiful, inhale, back to this runner's lunge, or crescent lunge, yeah. Bend into those elbows, tap the back knee, inhale, exhale, lift up. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Last one, inhale, tap, exhale, lift, and then open up to that warrior two. So again, that back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. You're flexing your hips forward, no booties poking out here. Left knees out towards the pinky toe. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, bend into that front leg. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Carpeel those arms down, frame out the front foot. Hold it here for one breath. And then exhale, plant the hands, step back, hold your high plank. From here, we're stepping your feet underneath the hips for this floating bear pose. And then you're stepping straight back to your high plank. You have two more. Inhale, walk it in. Exhale, take it back. Beautiful, last one, walk it in. And exhale, take it back, hold it here. Just three, two. Take those knees in, we're coming back to this tabletop position and just drop it down. Inhale, lower the belly, lift the head, lift the tailbone. Exhale, press the ground away. From here, we're finding that neutral spine. Your right leg is coming straight out to the right. So it's in line with your hip. From there, we're gonna lift up to a gate pose. You're flexing your hips forward here. As you inhale, take the left hand down. As you exhale, reach the right arm over. Beautiful. Inhale, lift up back through center. Exhale, right hand on your right leg, left arm sweeps. Beautiful. From there, we're gonna bring the hands back through this tabletop position. Left hand stays down, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, you're gonna thread the right arm, just reach underneath the left. Inhale, lift it back up. 
and exhale, reach underneath the left. One more, inhale, lift, and exhale, take it down. Drop the right shoulder down, drop the head, reach the left arm forward. We're in this pretzel leg, thread the needle with this right leg out, stretching through the inner thigh. And from there, the left hand's gonna come down, press yourself up, take a big arm circle back with this right arm, and then take the right hand down. Tuck the left toes under, lift the knee off the mat, and take the right hand to that left foot, stretching through the right inner thigh, get a little twist, and right hand comes down. Drop the left knee down, big hip circle back with this right leg, and we're gonna take it right to that left side. So the left leg's gonna kick straight out in line with the left hip. As you inhale, use the core, come up through gate. Hips are forward here, everything stacked. Inhale, right hand down, exhale, left arm over. Stretching through that left side body, like you're making a rainbow with your spine here. Press the hips up. Inhale, lift through center. Exhale, left hand down, right arm reaches up and over. Beautiful, exhale, hands plant right below the shoulders. From here, the right hand stays down. This time, the left arm lifts up. Exhale, reach the left arm underneath the right. Inhale, lift back up. And exhale, take it down, reach. Inhale, lift. And here's the last one. Take the left shoulder down. Relax your head this time. Your hips can sit back closer to the heel. Reach the right arm forward here. Breathing into any areas of tension. There's a lot going on here. One more breath. Right hand plants by your face. Big arm circle back with that left hand. From there, plant the left hand, tuck the toes, lift the right knee up, up, and then take the left hand back to that right foot. Good. Big stretch, maybe you're grabbing onto that quad, maybe the knee, anywhere you can reach. And then the left hand's gonna come down, drop the right knee, bring a big hip circle into that left side, and then tuck the toes, hips back, downward facing dog. Nice. From there, look forward, hop, step, or walk to the front of the mat. Feet together, knees together, lower the hips. Weights predominantly in those heels. Reach the arms up. Tuck that core. So I don't want you here. You don't have to look like an IG model. Tuck it in. Good. Sink a little lower. Beautiful. Hands are going to come through heart center. Keep the thumbs in line with your sternum here. Twist from the ribs to the right. Yeah, you're right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist again to the right. Try not to let your hips move. Inhale, one more time through center. Exhale to the right. Good, this time, hinge forward. The left elbow can come outside the right knee. Press the elbow into the knee here. Try to line up your thumbs with your heart. Beautiful. Inhale, let's extend those arms a little bit deeper. Nice, try to keep those knees together. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, back through chair. Just hold for one, two, on three. Let's lift up, take a little break, shake up the legs. I know I need it. Woo, exhale, take it back down, chair pose. Just do that on the left, then we'll move on. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, twist from the ribs to the left. Good, inhale through center. Try not to let your right knee pass the left here. Exhale, twist. Nice, inhale, center. Last one, exhale, twist to the left. This time, let's take that bind. Right elbow outside the left knee. Press the elbow into the knee here. Line up your thumbs with your heart. One more breath. Exhale, chair, hold. Oh, just kidding, we're extending the arms first. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> and now let's bring the hands back through center. Twist, you got five, four, three, two, inhale, lift it up, shake it out. Exhale, hands to behind you. Let's find that heart opener here. Press the knuckles towards the ground, lift. Exhale, one more time here with this forward fold with the bind. This time, we're bending into that left knee. Drop your left shoulder towards the left knee. Look over the right shoulder here. And exhale, switch it out. Bend to the right knee, drop the right shoulder to that right knee. Inhale through center. Exhale, release the bind, plant the hands, step back, high plank, and just flow through your chaturanga here. Coming down through that low cobra or upward facing dog as you exhale, hips up, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose.
exhale out through the mouth. Beautiful. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, just step it straight forward here into this runner's lunge. As you inhale right away, crescent lunge. Good. Exhale, warrior two. Again, right knees out towards that pinky toe. If you can't see your big toe, try to adjust. From here, inhale, gentle warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Good. Left hand's gonna come forward. You're gonna pivot your back foot. It's gonna tap your right hand. Your right hand's gonna open up to this twisted lunge. So we're in a twisted lunge. Yep. From there, right hand comes forward. Tap the left hand, warrior two. Yeah, one more time. Inhale, left hand forward. Exhale, twisted lunge. This time, you have the option to exalt your warrior. Take your right hand to your left hamstring. Reach the left arm back. Slight back bend here. Beautiful. As you exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Yeah. From there, your right hand's gonna replace your left. You're gonna bring the heel of the left foot down and open up the left arm. So you're in an extended side angle. Nice. From there, you're gonna start to straighten your right leg, bend into your left knee for Skandasana, deep lateral lunge on this left side. Hands can either be on the mat or at your chest. Try to get that heel down here for a little ankle mobility. And then switch to that right side. Skandasana on the right. Yeah, one more time to the left. Good. From here, challenge is to just press yourself straight up to a warrior two on that right side. Beautiful. Awesome. All right, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, just tee out your arms, straighten the leg. Bring the left foot in a little bit. From there, bring the left hip back when you're pouring a cup of water over the right foot. Bring the right hand in the inside of your shin. Try to keep your hips in line with your shoulders here. So squeeze your booty in. Nice. Really feeling that stretch to the left side. If you need more, reach the left arm overhead. Inhale, lift up, use your core. Left hand down your left leg, right arm reaches back, reverse triangle. Good, exhale, square your hips off, frame out the front leg for a pyramid pose. Keep your hips level here, so try not to have your right hip too far back or down, they're nice and level, you can use your hand to feel it. One more breath here. And then exhale, bend into this right knee, you're gonna drop your back knee down, bring the top of the foot down, and then lift the arms up, Anjaneyasana. The right heel is down here. You're sending the right knee over the ankle. Good, and then the right hand comes down. The left arm reaches up and over. Feel the stretch all the way from your fingertips through your hip flexor. And then square out the arms. Sit the hips back one more time, hamstring stretch. From here, start to hunch your back a little bit. I don't ask you to do this often. We're rounding through the back, you're on those fingertips. Engage your core, flex through your right foot. We're gonna lift and lower the right leg for five, four, yes, three, good, two, and one. Beautiful, bend the right knee, frame out the foot, step your foot back to a high plank, left foot steps back, hold it here. We got shoulder taps for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend into the elbows, chaturanga, inhale, lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna do that flow on the left side then we're gonna cool it down. You got this, stay with me. Bend into one leg then the other. Take a moment for yourself, tell yourself you got this. Check in with yourself, feel the difference between your right and left side. Find some stillness here with your deep breath in. Find some purpose. Take the left leg back. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands, runner's lunge. Nice. Right away, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Spin on the ball of that back foot. Hips are forward here, the left knee's out toward the pinky toe. As you inhale, take this right hand, bring it up towards the front, pivot your back foot, and then bring the left hand back for that twisted lunge. One more time through that flow. Inhale, left hand forward. Exhale, bring the foot parallel to the mat. We're in that warrior two. Good. 
One more time, inhale, take it through that twisted lunge, hold it here. Option to exalt your warrior, left hand back, right arm reaches over. Nice. Inhale, we're coming back into this warrior too. As you inhale, we're gonna come into a gentle warrior, straighten the front leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, gentle. Exhale, warrior two. Beautiful, one more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Good, pivot the back foot again. The right hand's gonna plant inside the leg, the left arm is lifted. Good, you got one more breath here. And as you exhale, we're gonna replace the left hand here with the, I keep doing that backwards, just bring your left hand down and lift the right arm up, beautiful. So we're in this extended side angle now. You can press this left knee out a little bit with your elbow if available for you. And then use the core, you're gonna lift up through your warrior two. Good, inhale, find your nice straight front leg. Step the back leg in just a little bit. From there, the right hip shooting back, the left hand shooting forward, and we're coming into a triangle pose. Good, use that core, lift up. If you need more here, we can reach the right arm overhead. Beautiful, keep the hips forward here. Yes, like you're in between two panes of glass. Good, inhale, use your core, lift back up. Right hand on your right leg, left arm reaches up and over. Exhale, tee out those arms. This time we're gonna sit nice and deeply into this right leg for that skandasana. Yeah. Exhale, just one time to the front here. You're gonna hold it at the front. Nice. And then we're pivoting that back foot, come into a runner's lunge, facing the front of your mat. Beautiful. Drop the back knee, lift the arms up. Nice, left hand down, right arm lifts up and over. And exhale, frame out the foot, sit your hips back here, and then flex through this left foot here for that hamstring stretch. Good, preparing for that deep ab compression. Round out the spine just a bit. Fingertips are on the mat, flex through the left foot. We're gonna lift for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, this time, bend into the left knee, send the right leg straight back. You're gonna shimmy the left foot over to the right side of the mat and just drop your left knee down. We're coming into a pigeon pose. Good. So the biggest thing you wanna focus on with pigeon is that your knee is in line with your booty. This is your femur. You wanna make sure it's as has the greatest range of motion possible. And then square off your hips. So you're sending your right hip down and your left hip back. Once you have that alignment, feel free to start to lower down, deepening the stretch into a pigeon pose. Check in with yourself here. Yoga in Seaport, I've found, is all about finding calm within the chaos. So you're acknowledging the motorcycles, you're acknowledging all the noise around you, but you still have inner peace. You're not letting it affect you because that's life. This is where you find that within yourself despite the circumstances, but despite the situations, despite how badly you want to get out of this pose right now. Yeah, we're breathing through it. You're releasing the tension in your face, in your shoulders. You're just allowing yourself to be. Two more breaths here. Find that sweet spot, settle into it. On your next inhale, lift yourself back up through center. As you exhale, just plant your hands, tuck your back toe, take your left leg back, and then do whatever you need to do here to just release that tension. Maybe hip circles, maybe it's something else. And when you're ready, the right leg's gonna come back. You're gonna step your foot into a runner's lunge. Same way we got into pigeon on the left. So you're shimming the right foot over to the left. You're dropping the right knee to that side. You're checking with your alignment here. Try to bring your glute in line with your knee. Settle in there and then square the hips off. Once you find that alignment, start to settle in. Focus on your breath. Remember, you are in control of your breath. There's so little things we have control of in this life, so it's important to take advantage of those things that we do have control over. 
release the tension here. We hold a lot of emotional trauma and stress in our hips. So it's important to take times like this to just breathe into it and let it go. If you sit a lot or you do a lot of high impact activity, it's extra important for you. Take that time for yourself. Take three more rounds of breath here. With every exhale, get deeper. Find a little calmness. Relax your nervous system. On your next breath in, let's plant the hands. Lift your heart up. This time, we're just gonna swing the left leg around and we're gonna come into an extended seated position. Shake out the legs here, release any tension. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, stretch the hamstrings. Inhale, lift it up. Bend into your knees, plant your feet. Grab onto the knees. As you inhale, roll the shoulders back, nice proud chest. As you exhale, start to round through the spine. Seated cat cows, one more, inhale, lift. Exhale, round through the spine from here. Release your hands, palm face up to the sky. Start to lower down one vertebrae at a time. When you get all the way down, bring your knees into your, into your chest and give yourself a huge hug. Rock side to side. Compress your hips here. Give yourself gratitude. Give your body thanks. And as you exhale, we're gonna release into our final Shavasana. So you can just bring the legs along down the mat. Maybe you bring your feet together, knees apart for a cloud butterfly. And just the same way we started, allow yourself to be. Maybe your palms are facing up for receiving. Whatever it is you need to take with you off your back tonight. This is where the yoga practice really pays off. It's not about being flexible or making shapes with your body. It's about taking time for you and finding connection, mind, body, soul. This is where we reap the benefits here. This is where you should be kind to yourself for making time for yourself today, stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something good for you because it's not selfish. Reflect back on that intention maybe you set at the beginning of practice. And if it's the one you took with me of having no expectations and just kind of being an observer, I offer you to take that off your mat tonight and into your daily life. You are limitless. And until you stop putting labels on yourself and confining yourself into a box, you're not gonna reach your full potential. So allow yourself to let go of whatever you need to here. And on your next inhale, take whatever it is you need. Reach the arms overhead. We have one more full body stretch. Like you're just waking up first thing in the morning. And as you exhale, hug the knees into the chest one more time. Extend your right arm. Roll onto your right side. Use your right arm as a pillow. And then press into your left hand, bringing yourself up to a seated position. Keep your eyes closed if you're comfortable. And together, let's take one last inhale. Bring the arms overhead. As you exhale, gather all that energy we created here today. Bring it through your mind's eye, through your mouth, and then down to your heart center. Remembering to think kind words about yourself and others. Say kind words about yourself and others. Live the light, be the light, spread the light. The light and darkness in me sees the light and darkness in each and every one of you. I bow to you in respect and say namaste. Awesome job, guys. Thank you so, so much. Um, Seaport Sweat is genuinely one of my absolute favorite things to do. Uh, I look forward to it every week. I get really sad when it rains. Um, so I just thank you so much for being a part of this and for giving me your time and energy. I appreciate it more than you know, and uh, you are my why. So thank you for showing up. I really, really appreciate you. If anybody wants to connect, I will be up here. Um, please, let's stay in touch um, until next season. We have great classes for the rest of the week, including Michael's athletic conditioning class, if you want a little change of pace from this. Um, and that's on Wednesdays at 5.30, so I'll probably be there. Hope to see you there. 
Uh, take care of yourselves this winter. Don't let the blues get to you. Be kind to yourself and others. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye. Thank you. I know. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, ah, I'm not gonna. That's okay. It was kind of nice. <laughs> Yay.